In this video, we're looking at transformer protection, protecting the windings of a transformer from overcurrent. And the focus of this video is the primary only method, a circuit breaker or fuse on the primary that protects both sets of windings. Okay. Where we're gonna turn first is article 450.3b, overcurrent protection of transformers a thousand volts and less. If I read that section, basically tells me to turn the page and go to the table of the same number. Make sure you're on table B, a thousand volts or less. First word in that table, maximum. Okay. If this is the maximum fuse or circuit breaker, does the code allow me to go smaller? Sure. I just don't want to go too small because transformers, when you turn them on, have a certain amount of inrush current and I don't want them nuisance tripping with the inrush current. So they need to be big enough to handle that. And also to handle a load. Well, we don't have that calculated yet because we see all those percentages in the table and I take the percentage and multiply it by what the title calls rated current. That's the same as full load amps. It means the amps going through the transformer, through the primary in this case, when it is running at its full power rating. We're gonna look at the first line of that table now, and it's primary only. The second line is primary and secondary protection, save that for the next video, but primary only, and then I've got three columns for primary protection. Nine amps and more, less than nine amps, and then another column, less than two amps. Let's see what we fit into. Got to figure out my amps first here. Single phase, power 600 volt amps, volts 480. Single phase, my current is going to be my power divided by my voltage. So my 600 volt amps divided by 480, what do I get? 1.25 amps. So in those three columns on the primary, I fit into less than two amps. Primary only, less than two amps, 300%. So I take my rated current, my full load amps, multiply it by three, or 300%, same thing. According to the table, that's my maximum current. maximum current rating of my overcurrent protective device. And if you can buy a 3.75 amp fuse, you can put it in to protect that transformer. Now in our class, we're gonna restrict ourselves to the NEC considered standard sizes. And we get those in 240.6A, standard sizes for fuses and circuit breakers. So let's turn there, and in the written section, I'll see some smaller sizes. One, three, six, ten, and an oddball 601. We'll discuss that at some other point. And then there's a table below it that goes from 15 amps all the way up to 6,000. But we're on the tiny end of things. So we gotta look in the written section. Six amps is too big. So the biggest we can go of the standard sizes according to the NEC, is three amps. And according to the code now, this transformer is adequately protected. In this section 450.3b, there was a little exception right below it, back in the, in the actual section, not the table, there was an exception. And it said if it was a motor control transformer, you know, used in a motor control circuit, we could go up to 500%. And if I took these amps times five, I would get just over six. I would get enough that I could actually, if it were used in a motor control circuit, I could use the next size up, a six amp. But that's an exception just for that circumstance. And I've got to go to article 430. It gives me the section in the exception. Let's try this on another transformer, another single phase. Let's go with a 12 kVA. Again, single phase, primary only protection. What's my full load amps? 
Do you notice it was 12 kVA, 12,000 volt amps? So we take our kVA times 1,000 divided by the voltage. Come out with 25 amps. That's my full, amp, uh, full load amps, my rated current. Now I gotta look at the table again. Primary only, my three columns for the primary, nine amps and more, less than nine, less than two. Well, now I fit into the nine amps or more. And what's my percentage there? 125%. 31.25 amps. Now there's a little note one there, right beside that 125%. What does note one say? It basically says this, that if your calculation doesn't exactly match a standard size, you can go up to the next one. The table said it was the maximum, but in two spots, you're given special permission to go a little higher. And you know what? It's only where the table says 125%. One in the primary only line in the primary, one in the primary and secondary on the secondary. It's the only place you find the note one. And that's what it allows, special permission to go up a little. What it's really allowing me to do is to make sure I get at least 125% of the rate of current for my, for my uh, fuse or circuit breaker. Okay. So if we go and we look, what's my standard size? I could either go 30 amps or I could go 35. Note one allows me to go up because this doesn't match a size. So I can go up to 35 amps. That would be the maximum. We're gonna try one more transformer and this time we'll do a three phase transformer. I'll go with a 25 kVA three phase transformer. Now that table doesn't care if it's single phase or three phase, they just wanna know what's the line current coming in. So we've got 25 kVA, 480 volts. What's my full load amps gonna be? My rated current. Remember with three phase, we have a little different formula. We gotta include our magic number, 1.73. So my KVA times 1,000, 25,000, divided by my voltage times 173. I put parentheses because it's divided by the quantity. And what does that equal? 30.1 amps. Now I go in my table, primary only, I'm still over nine amps, so I choose that first column, 125%, and I have the note one. 30.1 amps times 125%, 1.25, equals 37.6. And remember note one? There's not a standard size of 37.6 listed in this section or its table. So guess what I do? I turn to this section, look at the table, and the one below it is 35, or I can go up to a 40. Note one gives me that special permission to take it up to the next higher, just to the next higher, no further than that. 40 amp fuse or circuit breaker to protect this transformer, primary only protection. And that's how we calculate primary only protection for transformers, max size fuse or circuit breaker.